Okay, hi, so this is Ethan Leeds, and I'm responding to a video created by Adam Ringham um, about his product, TRS, um, which is a synthetic zeolite. And I and others have uh, made some challenges about the fact that his product has no safety studies. It has no studies in general, uh, and they make lots of claims um, as if there were studies, and there aren't. Um, and he's getting some grief apparently from his team saying well, what do we say about this and so he's come up with a video where he makes the claim that his synthetic zeolite product TRS has got all the studies that apply to natural zeolite because his argument is that synthetic zeolite lab made synthetic zeolite is identical to natural zeolite and as such all the studies that have been done on natural zeolite will apply to his product now it should be obvious that that is complete bull it should be obvious we wouldn't if those in the natural health world understand that synthetic vitamins are not the same even though they're chemically identical and all that um, they don't function the same way in the body so you cannot use a study on a synthetic vitamin and say that whatever it does uh, is identical to what it would be with a natural um, vitamin, although they do try and get away with that. So there's a the big farmer have long tried to get away with just substituting synthetic for natural, but we know in natural health that that's not the case. So for example, hormone treatments where they use synthetic hormones that are so-called identical to the natural, do not work in the same way in the body. A lot of the medicines that they come up with where they take a plant and then they copy it, they patent it, they have a synthetic version, they do not work the same. We should know that, there shouldn't be any argument about it, it should be obvious, um, but a lot of Adam's team seem to just accept everything he says despite the fact that it's complete and utter trash. Let me just play a little clip, uh, just so that you can see what he's actually saying first, and then I'll um, go into it in a little bit of, uh, a, little bit of a response. So I'm going to make this as short as possible. Super quick video on the statement, advanced TRS has zero safety studies where the competitor's product or a natural zeolite has over 300 safety studies. I just wanted to clear this up as fast as possible. A natural zeolite and advanced TRS are the exact same thing. Here's what I have. We have a, a pink sapphire. It's not really coming into focus. I'll try here to get it, but uh, pink, either way, you can see it, pink sapphire. Let's see if I touch the screen. Uh, I know if it's not gonna touch on the refractives. How about my fingers, my grubby little fingers? Nope, anyway, <clears throat> pink sapphire. This was lab made. Do you know the only reason you would know the difference between the two? This one's more pure. That's it, they can control the particle size, how big they're gonna grow it, and how pure it is. It's the only difference. It's the exact same thing. Advanced TRS is no different. It's a clinoptilolite that has just been made more pure, and it has better, let, let, let's talk about things being artificial or made in a lab. Like if they, if they want to get to it, oh yeah, you know where this was made? No one knows because it doesn't matter. It could have been China. It doesn't make any difference. It's still the same thing. It doesn't matter where it comes from. Okay, so hopefully you can hear that clearly. So, but by the way, the reason he's commenting on it doesn't matter where it comes from, could be China, is because um, we've put forward um, the argument that the TRS is almost certainly made in China because that's where most synthetic um, zeolite is made. So it's, we, we, they won't tell us where it's made, they hide that fact, um, which is a, a red flag in of itself, but it's probably from China and he's trying to make light of that, it doesn't matter where it comes from. Okay, so his argument, he's used a sapphire ring or sapphire um, here, and um, in past they've used diamonds. Um, in fact, um, quite a few of them have used diamonds as an example, synthetic diamonds being purer than, than real diamonds. Now, each, just on face value, just, just would, if you were given a diamond ring, ladies, if you were given a diamond ring, would you prefer a natural or a synthetic? I don't know many ladies that would prefer the synthetic, but anyway. So what, what his claim is, which is blatantly false, is that the synthetic is identical to the natural. Now, of all the crystals that have ever been made, um, uh, uh, with, and they've really put the most effort into getting identical, it's diamonds. Because diamonds are incredibly costly, and so if you can make an identical synthetic diamond, then you're onto something, you can make a lot of money. So they've spent more time and energy and effort in making identical lab-made synthetic diamonds than any other thing ever. Okay, so is a synthetic diamond identical to a natural one apart from the one thing he said, purity? 
Are they identical apart from that? And the answer to anyone that knows anything is no. They are not the same. And I'm going to show you a few, a few areas where they're not the same. Okay, it doesn't take much to find this. So um, I just looked up uh, and found loads of websites that share the differences. So here's, here's a difference. So if you get an x-ray examination, diamonds have a radiolucent molecular structure, which means that they don't appear in x-ray images. Glass, cubic zirconium and crystals all have a slightly radio, radio pack quality um, that makes them show up clearly on an x-ray. Okay, so first difference then. A real diamond doesn't show on an x-ray. A fake diamond clearly shows on an x-ray. Okay, so that's a, a very clear difference. Let's have a look at some others. Um, subject the diamond to high sensitivity weighing. Diamonds can be distinguished from, uh, by, by differences in weight since cubic zirconia weighs approximately 55% more than diamonds for the same shape and size. Okay, so the exact same shape and size, real diamond, fake diamond, the fake one weighs 55% more. Now, do you think that that kind of difference might act or behave differently in the body? Because I think, I think it would. Okay, let's have a look at let's have a look at another one. Okay, so um, heat up a stone and see if it shatters. Heat up a suspect stone with a light for 30 seconds, then drop it straight into a glass of cold water. The rapid expansion and contraction will overwhelm the tensile strength of, a, of the weaker materials like glass and quartz, causing the stone to shatter from the inside. Real diamond is strong enough that nothing will happen. There you go. So the real diamond. You do that little test, nothing happens. The fake shatters. Please don't tell me there's no difference. It is ridiculous to claim there's no difference. Let's have a look at one more. And there's lots of differences, but here, let's look at this one. Drop the stone in a glass of water and see if it sinks to the bottom. Due to its high density, a real diamond will sink. A fake one will float at the top of the surface or in the middle of the glass. Okay. This is a huge, right? Now, bear in mind that they've made more effort with diamonds than any other type of, of crystal or whatever um, to make them the same. And I've just shown you four very, very different attributes between a real and a fake. In this case, it's critical because zeolite operates in the fluid of the body in the blood in the case of a nano zeolite like TRS or PBX which is the original uh, one that TRS is based on which is natural and clean okay so how it behaves in water or blood which is basically water is going to be critical and we've just seen there's a very different behavior one floats and one sinks okay so we're not necessarily trying to compare diamonds directly with zeolites. The main point I'm trying to make here is that the synthetic lab-made version of a diamond is not identical apart from purity, as Adam would have you believe. And he uses all of these arguments based and assuming on your ignorance. He knows this stuff. He knows this isn't true. He's basing it on your ignorance. And that's the reason that he will not debate. So I've challenged him to debate multiple times. He won't do it because he won't get away with these kind of claims in a video debate with me. He won't. And he's going to look really stupid, but he can get away with it if he makes little videos and puts it out in a closed group where only his people can see and hope that my responses and other people's responses don't get to them. Right? What he is doing is, is, is outright lying to claim 300 odd studies that can be used for his fake synthetic version. They cannot be used. And aside from anything else, his, I mean, I'm not even a believer that TRS is a true clinoctolite. I'm not convinced. It's certainly different to PBX, the one that I recommend. It's, 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 not, it's not got the same attributes at all. It hasn't got as much magnesium, it hasn't got as much sodium, it hasn't got as much potassium, uh, it hasn't got as much calcium, all of which are important in the way that the, this functions. So uh, it's not the same. It may not even be a clinoctilolite. I'm not convinced it is, but at, at any rate, you cannot use studies on a natural thing when you've got a synthetic product. And as I say, I shouldn't need to argue this. It should be obvious because 
everybody in natural health should already understand that a synthetic vitamin is not the same as a natural one you know that a synthetic hormone is not the same as a natural one it should be obvious but for whatever reason adam seems to be able to twist and bend people around his finger as long as he can keep them from hearing the other side that is what he's, he's very good at keeping them from hearing um, the other side he, he speaks in a closed environment that he doesn't allow people like me into that environment to be able to communicate with his people and he banks on that hopefully people will get to see this video if you see this video and you know people that you know um, are, are using trs or following adam please send them this video and um, let adam know that i'm here for a, for a debate a live debate anytime he wants he already knows that he's refused to debate but i'll keep throwing it out there maybe one day he'll uh he'll decide he'll, he'll give it a go but i don't think he's going to come off well and i think he knows that all right hope that's been helpful um but I'll, just as a quick aside he he, he it's, it's really funny because he claims it's identical and then he claims it's better it's identical but better come on if it's identical it's the same right but it's identical it's because it's better and he and he then goes into a cleaning process and he and he, and he, he makes a load of claims none of which are verifiable um none of which none of which he uh, have been shown to be detrimental to the zeolite because the studies that show how brilliant it is are done on that zeolite that he says is damaged okay so the, the proof of the pudding is in the studies that have been done that show how effective it is in so many different areas. So don't let him beguile you with claims. It's not even, I don't even know what zeolite he's talking about with his cleaning process that he describes, because it's certainly not the one I recommend. I think he's grabbing all different methods that all different companies maybe use um, for cleaning and piling them all in as if, as if that's all done by one company. So he's making that up as well. Just claim after claim he makes that's with no very verifiable facts. Um, he used to claim that, uh, P, P, no, that TRS was smaller than PBX. For years he claimed that, and now that's been proven false. PBX is a lot smaller um, than TRS, fact. Um, he doesn't talk about that much anymore. Now they're starting to talk about size, doesn't matter all of a sudden. It's beyond, it's a joke. Anyway, hope this has been useful. Um, love to hear your comments, feedback. Um, God bless, have a great day. Thank you. I've got to try and figure out how to stop this thing now because I always have problems. Let me see, oh, how do I do this?